Hey, it's Gary Kay, and I'm here at ISE 2012 on day two in Amsterdam. It's actually warmer outside. It's probably in the uh, probably in the uh, three to five degree range, as opposed to yesterday where it was below zero. And I'm here with David with Pufferfish, and he designed this. And this is a projection ball, for lack of a better word, unless you have a special name it's for a, it. Tell a, me about it. It's a spherical display, I think is what we like to refer, refer it as. And how many projectors are in there? Just one just or two? One. Yeah, just one and a fisheye lens, a uh, custom fisheye lens. And so you program this. How long did it take to program something like this? Uh, this um, took me about a week and a half, uh, roughly, working kind of um, accelerated development. Uh, uh, it's a it's done in a graphical language so we can get stuff like this together very fast but for the system you can write applications in, in any anything at all the touch the touch system that it uses is, is an open standard so you can uh, you can use any any system you want we use uh, unity quite a lot for the development um, and uh, flash and various other systems what's neat about this is this this would be a great thing in a museum for inter an interactive display but even digital signage or retail applications it would sort of draw people to it, but what other applications are people not thinking of that they should be using something like this in? I think that, that, that's pretty much where we're kind of aiming at in those kind of markets, but uh, yeah, it's any, anywhere there's kind of uh, interactive content. Um, I think people are kind of using it for information displays, but also we're looking at doing things with uh, cameras and video inputs to create, kind of create more uh, totally interactive experiences. So uh, we ha have things where we've got cameras is mounted in the units where you're uh, looking at people and then they can see themselves reflected and uh, modify and uh, distorted the image in various ways. So, so, you, so you could make it you could even do something really creative and make the thing start talking to people. So it'd be like a ball that's interacting with the person that walks up to the ball. Yeah, absolutely. There's, I mean, a lot, a lot of our uh, puffish business is in the kind of content creation, and th this kind of interactive content is definitely um, something we've been doing more and more of recently. And there, we're here actually in the digital projection booth, but this is compatible with any projection system that that actually can do this sort of warping of the image so that it stays focused on a spherical surface. We have um, we have uh, lots of different. Uh, SDKs for, to provide um, the clients with the ability to warp their images in whatever system they want. So they, uh, you, can, you can use pretty much anything. So Pufferfish, if you want to find out more information, uh, go to, let's see here, uh, pufferfishdisplays.co.uk because they're based in the UK. And uh, David, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, this is Gary. I'll see you in a bit.